Hi everybody, John with you again, and uh, I thought it was time to do another vlog. I'm getting ready to go on a, a about a three week trip in a couple of days, and uh, I know I keep mentioning it. What is this trip I'm going on? I will tell you. Uh, I'm calling it my summer of beauty because <laughs> it's all beauty pageant related. I'm going to three places. Uh, quickly, I'm going to Orlando, Florida, I'm going to Washington, D.C., and then I'm going to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. In uh, Orlando, Florida, I'm really excited to be serving as a judge, uh, actually for uh, the titles of Miss United States International, who will represent the United States at Miss International in Japan, and Miss... United States Supranational, who will represent the USA at the Miss Supranational pageant in Europe. Uh, and then also the American Beauty pageant is connected to that. So that's what I'm doing in Orlando. It's going to be really exciting to do that. After that, I'm going up to uh, Washington, D.C., where I will be hanging out with some friends and taking in the Miss World America pageant. Uh, this chooses the American representative to Miss World. It's the first time they've done it in quite a long time, in many, many years. Uh, lately, the American representative has just been appointed by a modeling agency, and now they're having a pageant. And uh, that should be fun, taking that in. And then finally, I will end up at uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm trying to figure out the, which way I should be walking. Uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana for the Miss USA pageant, which selects the American representative for the Miss Universe pageant. I work with the uh, on the committee of the Miss Hawaii USA pageant. So I'm going on to cheer MOO, our Miss Hawaii USA, and to visit with friends. I have tons of friends from all the different states. I'm going to be doing some vlogging there, and you'll think it's probably like the weirdest thing ever. Uh, but we have a lot of fun. So anyway, that's what that trip is about. And what's happening today is completely different. Uh, for all the sort of book nerds out there, in the state of Hawaii, and I am definitely one of them. Uh, today is a red letter day because it marks the beginning of uh, the Friends of the Library book sale. It happens every year at McKinley High School. Uh, it runs for an entire week, and they have specials, you know, and it gets cheaper and cheaper as the week goes on, but uh, today is the first day, and I think it's really uh, because of my trip going to be the only day that I'm going to really be able to go in and do some shopping for some books. I like all kinds of books, novels, uh, historical books, and I really like coffee table books of Hawaii and the South Pacific with beautiful pictures in them. That's kind of my form of meditation. I don't really meditate, but I listen to music and look at pictures and kind of disappear into that. So. We are ready to go to this book sale. It's amazing. Very important before you go to a sale like this, bring your water to keep yourself hydrated because it's hot in there and it's an entire high school cafeteria. The book sale takes up the entire cafeteria. It's amazing. So we'll get there in just a couple minutes and you will see for yourself. So here we come, up to the McKinley High School cafeteria. The sale takes up the entire cafeteria. It's amazing, really amazing. They have nice shaded outdoor area, and also there's some like lunch wagons and places you can get some food to eat and get some water if you need a break. And I just realized that I forgot. I brought my water, but I forgot my eye drops. It gets kind of kind of dusty in there. Check it out. This is where we begin. Hawaiian Pacific. That's where we start. The great 
book of the Pacific. Huge. Two dollars. Two dollars. How can you not get it? Sold. Hmm. Oh. Here in the Pacific section, <laughs> a book on Indonesian legends and folk tales. Which brings up an interesting topic we often have is, is Indonesia and the Philippines part of the Pacific or part of Asia? I think they're kind of both, you know. Mm, I think so. <laughs> Hawaiian Zodiac. That's kind of cute. Now, what did you find? I mean, 50 cents. My friends found one. shower, tidied up, cleaned up a bit, and uh, had a rest, and let's assess, take a look at everything that I got, and see what all, what all treasures I got today. Okay, so first uh, place I stopped was Hawaiian Pacific Books. Um, if you're into that kind of thing, then you need to go there first, because that section is going to, you know, get picked over the fastest. I got this book, Legends of Micronesia, book two. I was excited to find this because I already had book one and this is book two. As it turns out, once I got home, now I actually have book two. So now I have two book twos, but this was a dollar. But it's, you know, just interesting, the stories and legends. And I, I kind of like the artwork in this book. Um, I might, I'll probably um, put some of it up on my Pinterest board. I have a Pinterest board of different pictures and artwork and whatever, but... These are just legends and stories uh, from the islands of Micronesia. Hmm. Anyway, you get the idea on that one. So, uh, next book. Well, this was a fiction. Uh, the King of Fasarai. I believe is a fictional place, but uh, just a fictional story of somebody in the, the South Seas. It was only a dollar, so I do like old books, old novels, so we'll, I'm sure I will enjoy that. And I got another, another book, old book, A Pattern of Islands by Arthur Grimble. 
And I feel like I should know what this book is, but I don't. And it's an old one. First published 1952. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just uh, this guy's sort of description of his experiences there or whatever. And there's some nice pictures in it too, black and white ones. Nice old photographs. I always like to get books with, um, you know, photographs. I'm sort of a visual. I like to read, but I'm also a very visual person. So, dancing there. All right. Then, well, I got a couple of small books, or little, what, booklets. Hawaiian Zodiac. I'm not exactly sure why I got that. It's just kind of, I think the artwork, the idea was kind of funny. Somebody did a... Hawaiian Zodiac. There's actually a Hawaiian tarot card deck out that's kind of interesting. Anyway, that's my sign. The Twins, Gemini. What was this? 50 cents. Then I got this one, which is Flowers, Plants, and Fruits of Hawaii. And again, I got it just because I love the pictures. I like these sort of booklets that are really just, uh, I mean, they're really... A collection of postcards is what they are, pretty much, and uh, I enjoy them. Lots of pretty pictures. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So, and then uh, I got went into these. That was it from Hawaiian Pacific collection. Then we went to some of the other sections. Uh, travel writing, I mentioned I do love travel writing, and I got some books about that. Not too much. Uh, a Train Journey into the Heart of Russia, Midnight in Siberia. So this is about a ride on the Trans-Siberian Rail Railway. I've actually looked at some trips of uh, where you can take a train all the way across Russia to Mongolia, and it's been kind of a, of, of interest. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, we'll read the book. Italian Neighbors, or a Lapsed Anglo-Saxon in Verona. And this was uh, about some English person that goes to live in Italy for a while and just their adventures. Dollar fifty. Uh, always an interesting subject. Off the map, the curious history of place names. Uh, and then this one is interesting. I don't know. The Art of Pilgrimage. The Seeker's Guide to Making Travel Sacred. So, how to, you know, dollar fifty. How to go on trips and get more out of it or something, apparently. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. And then I got this book, The Pineapple King of Fruits, which, believe it or not, is just sort of a sociological history of the pineapple. I like books like about the history of something. I got a couple of books from the religious section. Um, Re-exploring the Book of Mormon. I'm not a Mormon, but I'm uh, very interested in religion and spirituality of various kinds. And uh, this one just kind of struck my fancy because it's sort of exploring further into the Book of Mormon than uh, you know than one who was not Mormon would normally do. So, kind of interesting. God's Secretaries, the Making of the King James Bible. It's, I think Bible history is very interesting, how the Bible was put together and different groups that influenced things and what was left in and left out and all of that. And this one will specifically be about King James. So that's interesting. Then finally, I didn't really go to th spend much time in fiction because... Uh, I was just overwhelmed at this point. I mean, I was just getting really hot and tired and, you know, drinking my water and being like, okay, I'm kind of ready to get out of here. But I have to go to the music section. Uh, they have they don't have any record albums, but they have CDs, a lot of CDs. And uh, at my workplace, I play, which is an espresso bar, I play a lot of jazz. I like jazz at a coffee bar. So... Whenever I am someplace like this where I can get them really cheap, I always buy like a ton of jazz CDs. So I did. Uh, 
Ultimate Cool, which is compilation, New Ideas by Don Ellis. Waters Felt Project. I do not know who these people are, but what the heck. It looked kind of interesting. Uh, f this is funny. I don't know. I haven't listened to this either, so I don't know. Faux Bourgeois Cafe. Isn't that funny? By Jason Paul Curtis. I have no idea. Bob Shepard, Close Your Eyes. This one's not even opened. Still in the shrink wrap. Joe Sullivan, Whiskey Jack Waltz. Looked interesting. I don't know. I always take a chance. I mean, for 3 or $4 on these things, I'm willing to try something that I just, if I don't know if it's any good or not. If I don't like it, what, it's 3 or 4 bucks. Uh, Carmen McRae, Betty Carter duets. Never seen it before, but I'll... I'm pretty sure it's probably quite good. Uh, Saint Germain de Pre Café, something to the finest electro jazz compilation. I like this kind of stuff too. You know, cafe music. Looking forward to hearing this one. Find in the Groove, Terry Gibbs with special guest Hubert Laws. 2006. This one is from, so more recent. Uh, Andy Norell, the longtime band. He plays the steel drum, steel pans, but uh, jazz, so that's interesting. Here's somebody I'm always excited to find something by Jimmy Smith on the organ. Loved his music so much, and I didn't have the CD Midnight Special, so I know I'll be loving that. Uh, Candy Dulfer, Sexuality. I'm kind of starting to dig some of this, uh, you know, like jazz from the 80s and 90s saxophone, like Kenny G and stuff that I think we all thought for a long time was like really bad because it was more recent and we're like, oh no. And now I think it's starting to get old enough that we're starting to think it's kind of cool again. I don't know. Uh, Brubeck Brothers Quartet, Intuition. Watan uh, Sadeo Watanabe, Front Seat. I don't have any of his stuff, so I'm from, I mean, I'm familiar with him, but this is the first one I have of his. Anita O'Day's Finest Hour, she's a singer, was a singer. Shirley Horn, another vocalist, You're My Thrill. And finally, my generation, I don't know, Teodros Avery, that's how you say it? I have no idea. Okay, I actually forgot a couple things. <laughs> I misplaced. Uh, I got this book, Maui, The Valley Isle. And again, I like these books. It's just really, you know, kind of a collection of postcards, really. But it's cute. And it was like, you know, 50 cents or something. I like it. Uh, this gigantic book, The Great Book of the Pacific. What was it? $2. And it's just absolutely gigantic. And it's all sorts of pictures and all sorts of historical information about different Pacific Islands and I think this would be a great book to enjoy either reading and or the pictures. And then finally, interesting book, not familiar with it, The Lost Caravel by Robert Langdon. Yeah, he says here, uh, May 1526, four Spanish ships pass in the Pacific Ocean from Straits of Magellan. One of them is lost and was assumed lost. And this is the story that he has developed on his theory that the ship actually went out into the Pacific and out to these other islands. And there are supposedly various legends or various stories that make him think that this Spanish ship actually... Um, went to some of these other places and that the some of the people on that ship stayed there i have no idea i haven't read it yet anyway okay so that's everything so grand total for all of the things that i got here grand total was 77 dollars for all the cds and all the books so i think that was basically a pretty good deal yeah and um uh, and I guess, like I said, it's probably the only time I would go. I know there are people that go to the sale every day of the sale or at least two or three times during the week. And I usually do go two or three times. But I'm going to be leaving on my trip in, a, in another uh, day and a half or whatever. So, And I have to get ready for that. So 
Uh, that's my one haul from the Friends of the Library book sale. And I don't think I mentioned it, but the, um, the proceeds all go to the Hawaii State Library system. So if you are in Honolulu, please visit the Friends of the Library sale at uh, McKinley High School. And also, in case you don't know, whatever books are left over at the end of the sale, they don't throw away. They actually send to Micronesia. Every island they send to, every year they send to a different island this year they're sending to i believe they said palau when i was there and it helps them build their libraries and have some reading material and whatnot so uh, nothing goes to waste uh, on this sale have a good week we'll talk to you later maybe i'll i don't know if i'll vlog from orlando since i'm judging i don't know if i can really do that probably not um but I'm sure I'll, I'll find out. And I'll uh, do something from D.C. for Miss World American. I'll definitely uh, vlog some stuff from Miss USA. So we will talk to you later. Have a good one.